Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel and if this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button, get that bell notification on so you don't miss out on the next episode of New Lancaster and make sure to hit the like button as well. The like button helps out the channel a lot. Uh, I hope you liked the last episode. I'm sorry about uh, the fact that it's a bit different than the last uh, than, than usual episodes. Uh, my audio didn't record so I kind of just recorded over like a fast play of what I did and we built this football stadium in this nice uh, leisure area as well. Um, I think the football stadium turned out fantastic. I really like uh, the area itself. Um, I think it's very fitting for the, the region um, and the city as well. So the new Lancaster Lions is the team. And uh, yeah, I, th I think it's a, a fantastic addition to the city. Um, in this episode, um, we might end up doing something a bit different as well. Uh, we need to change that interchange that leads to the cargo airport because that needs to become a four-way interchange for the uh, neighborhood of Fairview. I think that's the name of the area where the football stadium is. Uh, so we need to make it uh, into a larger interchange. And I'm going to kind of do that off like a, like, like a speed run, I guess, again, similar to what we did um, in the last episode, but I won't be talking through it. I'll just be like really quick build because it's just building a highway interchange. But if I struggle a lot with it, <laughs> you're just gonna see a cut. So, um, this is the interchange we're talking about, and it seems like the simulation paused. Uh, I think the university leveled up as we were going over top of it, which is pretty neat. Um, but this is the interchange we are talking about. Um, it's a bit difficult because there's it's on a hill. We're pretty tight with space on this side, but we are not on the other side. So let's see what we can figure out figure out with uh, with all this um, and. Let's hop into it. Yeah, so the university leveled up, which is not actually a level up because uh, we actually lost a star. Um, so this was a regaining of our second star for the university. So yeah, this is the interchange I'm talking about. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try to make it a very simple interchange. I was thinking about using just one of these, uh, ooh, these ones. Uh, like a clover leaf or something like that, but ah, they're just so massive that I think I can, might be able to squeeze it in uh, in a, a bit tighter. Like I even have this one, which is even more massive. I even have a pre-made stack interchange, but I don't think these are really fitting for the area that we're dealing with, and I don't think I have anything else. No. Uh, anyway, so um, I am going to start doing that, and I'll see you in a few minutes.
Hello everyone, and we're back. Uh, I hope this uh, that, that was an interesting little ride for you. Um, I think this turned out pretty good. Uh, I haven't done too much uh, detailing around it yet because I kind of wanted to talk around it. Um, but I think this is a really cool interchange we've built. Uh, it's kind of like a, a nice flow into, or like a city street flow into highway interchange. Um, Originally, I had it as like a full highway interchange, and I realized this is not for another highway. It's it's for uh, the city. So I switched it up, and I added uh, turn lanes here because I realized um, I probably should have like I was just kind of confusing myself with the fact that it wasn't a highway interchange yet. It was kind of a highway interchange. So um, uh, now we're just going to kind of smooth stuff out around here. Uh, I think this will look nicer once we smooth it out because it is pretty rough. But uh, that is okay. Um, so let's just try to push that out. And uh, you know what? We might as well make this whole thing elevated um, because it seems like it pretty much already is anyways, right? Yeah, okay, that, that's nice. And then we'll just go back to this. So we'll just, just keep on smoothing it out. Let's lower this hill. Uh, it would probably happen anyways. Uh, if people were developing here, so no sweat at all. And let's smooth that out, take that down, and that as well. Uh, this is an interesting little section here because I didn't want it to just merge and then cars have to merge again. But now that we have it this way, I, I don't think it's an issue, coming to think of it. So um, I think I'm going to switch that right now. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go back to the ground level here, switch that out, merge right there. We don't need this. Oops. Come on. Seems like they have enough time to uh, to do that. Uh, anyways, so it uh, doesn't seem like it would be an issue. And we can downgrade this whole section into a one-way road. And that means, or a, a, an off-ramp. Uh, that means we can get this a bit tighter as well um, to the other roads, which will save us some space over here. Might not look the cleanest ever, but um, that works with me. Let's move that over, this over, and then that means we can move that as well. Just gonna hold Alt down, and it's going to make a bit nicer curves on the. Um, on the road. There we go. Whoa, never mind. Let's undo that one. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, this can be changed a bit now because we don't need it as tight of a turn. And yeah, that works with me. So the reason why I have these as two lane roads is because, um, they add crosswalks in. It's a pretty cool look. So first thing we're going to do when we kind of get out of this, uh, build, out of like the building stage, is we're going to add the right turning lanes. So we're just going to hold control down on the nodes. And it should add dedicated turning lanes to each spot. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this one. And then every time there's a merge onto the highway, we're going to do control S click. Oh, that's did it do it? Yeah, okay, there we go, control S. And it's just going to give uh, dedicated lanes. And oh, I just realized I didn't do lane mathematics. So we are going to do that right now. We're gonna downgrade. Oops. Oopsies. We're gonna downgrade this middle section here. Oh my gosh, I thought I clicked it. Jeez Louise. There we go. So we have three lanes into four, perfect. And yes, so let's take a look at this. Does, does that give enough clearance for trucks? It does. Um, okay, and the next thing we're going to do is since, oh, we haven't finished this. Okay, so uh, control S, there we go. And I wonder how this is gonna work on this one. Ah, okay, uh, Never mind. undo. Um, 
Okay, well, it looks like we're going to do it here. <laughs> uh, this one is going to curve here. Um, and this one is going to go here. And... Ah, okay. That's how it works. Just press escape. I hope... Nope. Uh, okay. Let's let's see if we can get rid of it. Uh, I don't think we will. How do you get rid of this thing? Uh, delete. Ah, there we go. That makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, okay. So then now there's a turn, uh, a turn lane, and this lane goes straight. So I think what I'm going to do is I just want, sorry, I just want this road. Um, because I want to make sure I control this offlane because I don't want that to go straight. Um, and then they have enough chance to change lanes. You know what? I'll give them the opportunity to go into any of those. And either one of those. So, uh, over here, we're going to do the same thing. First, put uh, yield right there. And then we already have dedicated turning lanes. So... Uh, just right here. I'm going to make sure that these guys can turn either direction and then these guys can go into any one of these three um, And there's dedicated lanes for the other ones um, Now I'm thinking We might want to upgrade this road in the middle Uh yeah, I think we're going to upgrade it to this one. Oops, this one. There we go. And we're just going to do that. Yeah, so there's three lanes here. Okay, cool. And I bet that just ruined everything we did, didn't it? <laughs> so let's give uh, dedicated turning lanes to each one. Uh, this doesn't need to go that way. Okay, and then let's make sure that this is still in order. And it's not, of course, so we, good thing we came back and fixed it. Okay, um, so that should clear up all of this. Now what I did was I just wanted to kind of continue this road so we could kind of see what it was going to turn into. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be in Main Avenue, so I think we're going to have a connection right here which is going to be a difficult connection because uh, I don't like these four-way stops and there's a bus stop right there so um, yeah that is the the next challenge we're going to face uh, with this uh, right here so I think what we're going to try to do instead is we're going to try to move this bus stop uh, down one so let's go to bus routes uh, oh, I need to go here. And that one. Okay. Let's exit that. And then we're just going to drag that stop over there. Drag that stop over there. And resume the game for a second. Because if this is going to be an interchange, uh, if it's going to be a four-way stop on this major urban avenue, I think a roundabout is the way to go. We have flat land, flat enough land, um, that... I think that's probably what's going to, going to have to happen. So let's try to continue with that. All right. Make sure snapping is on. Uh, let's just do that. And then right here. Uh, with the curved road. Just like so. And then I think I have the roundabout builder. Um, let's choose the road we want it with, which is this one. And the radius, uh, click to build, press plus minus to shrink. Yeah, I think that's probably a good size. Yeah, that's going to work fantastically. Um, we're first going to downgrade this. Oh, buses are rerouting. Um, let's downgrade this one to that. And right there as well. Just 
bit unfortunate that, that we made this whole road a uh, three lane road, but it doesn't really need to be a three lane bridge. But I don't think we should have problems merging right here. This is not like a crazy amount of traffic. If we do, we can always, uh, we can always upgrade it to a different type of bridge, which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world because this is a continuation of that type of bridge. So why don't we think about doing that for a few minutes? <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's look at finishing off this roundabout. So there's a few things that we need to do for the roundabout itself is to hold shift down and click over that. And we're going to need dedicated turning lanes on each one. Um, and that should do it with that. Uh, so now that we have a strong connection into the city from here uh, with this fancy diamond interchange and this new roundabout that we have, uh, we can start looking to expand over here um, and one thing I want to do is holy cow, holy cow the traffic has actually gotten pretty significant all right that might uh, actually pose a challenge but uh, one thing I'm going to do is we're going to use the node controller and we're gonna go um, over top of over top of uh, these nodes over here and um, oh, you know what? Uh, really quickly, I just realized something. Uh, this should be this road. Yeah, so unfortunately, with uh, the way this works is roundabouts don't like three lanes going into three lanes. But we could make it three lanes into four lanes. But I don't think we have a four lane single road. Look at that, we do. Okay, let's uh, let's make this a pretty heavy roundabout then. Uh, upgrade. And let's just scratch that whole idea. Um, how does the grass look? A little stupid? Yeah, a little stupid. <laughs> so let's change it back. Uh, yeah, you know what? This this might work. Uh, we're just gonna have to redo what we just did just to make sure everything's fine. Um, and we're gonna have to give dedicated turning lanes. We're gonna have to actually probably have to go into each one of these segments and turn off uh, this middle one. Um, this might not be the most the, the best roundabout of all time, uh, but as long as it works, that's what really matters and I don't think we're gonna have a road right here I think we're gonna have to remove this road it's just too close to the uh, the interchange here and uh, yeah that's gonna cause some issues so what we're going to do instead is we're going to downgrade that whole road it is no longer a through road um, let's first extend it a touch okay and then we're going to upgrade it. Let's downgrade it down to there. Okay. And then lots of people walking. Um, then let's try to... Now that we have a roundabout in here, we've kind of finished off this neighborhood. Let's drag that down. And we're going to add some pathways in. To connect these two up. And then same thing right here. A lot of people walking over here. Do we not have a way to get across this way? Yeah, okay, this bus does. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see what this bus line is. So... There's not a lot of people that use it except at this one stop. Which, which stop is that? Hmm. Okay. So let's uh, let's up the number of vehicles to 20, 21. Sure. And we'll uh, we'll resume it. Um, but uh, what I was doing before I got distracted, like normal, is we're just gonna come in with a node controller. First of all, touch the node to make sure it's sloped. We're going to offset this node to about 20. 
Uh, maybe 15. So we're gonna do it kitty corner to the other one. 15 is what I said. And these ones are gonna be kind of eyeballed. Okay, we might have to delete that segment and redraw it. Um, okay, then this one. Yeah, we're gonna have to redraw some of this. So I'm just going to delete these segments here. And we're gonna pull up this four lane road. And let's redo it, what we've done a million times already. Oops, did, didn't actually work. Um, okay, and let's pull up that node controller. And, oh, no, did not want to light there. And 15. Back to this. Shift click. Yield coming in. Looks like we're going to have some pretty heavy traffic flow coming in here. So let's make sure that we have this set up properly all the way into the city oh we already had that one okay so this might have to become a heavier road for a moment but we'll see after we finish this area um but uh this is coming along pretty nicely and looks like there's a node in here as well. No, oh, maybe not. Okay. Um, so now that we've used the node controller on this side, uh, let's swing it over here and let's use the node controller on these ones. So I just realized this one is a bit too high. So we're just going to lower that exit, uh, move it, pull up the node controller with control N and Let's see if this will help at all a little bit okay and let's just go over all the nodes that we've made and click make it sloped and it will really help the look of uh, the nodes and let's offset that a bit we're gonna have to go into move it and lower this because it's glitching out a bit uh, pretty steep little exit here. We might need to detail that slightly. Okay, and make it sloped. Make it sloped. Make it sloped. Make it sloped. And yeah, you know what? This looks fantastic. So I think the next thing we're going to do just gonna resume the game um, I was playing over the taxes just before this started and it looks like I'm going to need to bump them back up to 11 maybe let's try to keep the residential down to 10 for a bit to see if that will improve anything uh, so I think we're gonna need a fence in here so I think what we're going to do is we're going to use this zoo fence and we're gonna do this And then now move it is going to be our best friend here. Um, let's try to grab that. Perfect. Oh, no. I thought I grabbed. The fence, but apparently not. There we go. Try to find that. And this is just going to need to move back ever so slightly. Okay, just because that was a pretty steep road is why I wanted to put a, the zoo fence in there. The zoo fence looks pretty uh, neat. Um, and then let's do the same thing right there. 
on this side because uh, you don't want your cars flying off the road. So let's grab that with Alt and just pull it back. There we go. And that means we can play around with this road a bit. Awesome, so I'm not gonna draw these lines in on camera, maybe off camera, but um, let's see what else we can do to detail this out a bit. So let's take out these trees in this area because we're just gonna build over them anyways. Uh, that's fine, it's fallow. And this area, I'm not sure what we're gonna be able to do with, so you know what, why don't we reforest this? ever so slightly um, some small bushes too okay um, let's pull up some trees it's over here push that down and I think there would probably be a couple trees in here Probably not in that section. Um, yeah, okay, so that looks pretty nice. Built that interchange. And uh, let's go, to finish off the episode, let's zone in out in the suburbs some, some more because uh, we need to finish off this area. And why not do it by doing this? So I went in and I added some dog parks um, around. They're really cheap to maintain and they add in quite a significant amount of uh, value or land value to the area too. So I'm just gonna finish off zoning this uh, area. Um, we're not gonna get housing on the other side. I know we did up here, but I don't think we're going to um, over in this area. Uh, maybe a bit of commercial right here. Um, I think it just makes sense. Maybe on that block as well. Um, let's get some commercial right there. I don't think we need anything on that side that as well and then this needs to zone in as residential the last part of residential zoning let's get some commercial there I don't think we need anything right there and we'll leave that plain because airplane. Uh, let's take off those and make those commercial. And that's where we're going to uh, leave the suburbs, I think. Just gonna double back and check a bit. Yeah, okay. I wanted to leave this kind of fallow because I think it kind of adds to the fact that the city is still expanding and this is how far developers have gotten. Um, let's just go through here. Since we were doing that earlier, uh, it just really helps make the roads look more realistic. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm not sure if I did this on camera or off camera, but I figured we could add like a second entrance into this area. So I think I, yeah, I don't think I did. So I, what I did is this is like a national highway. So it's pretty fast. And it comes right into the uh, car factory area. Um, which I think we're going to add in the soft paper mill. Is that what we decided? I don't know if we actually talked about that. Or maybe we didn't. Um, but we should definitely add something out this way because you know, we have so much space uh, But um, that's where we're going to leave today's episode uh, We're just gonna let this zone in for a little bit and get our demands back 
Um, but this was a pretty good episode. The city's finally filling in. We only really have this area to fill up, this area to fill up. And the suburbs are pretty much done. Maybe if, except for a few more touches, like over here, something over here. Um, but we've definitely gotten pretty much everything we need. I think we have all the factories and everything like that. Yeah, we just need to build the last two, um, which maybe we'll do next episode. Uh, let's see what our unemployment's at. 3%, yeah, hasn't changed ever. And the university is still hovering at 500 people, even though it now includes the football stadium and everything like that. I don't know why. Uh, but maybe it's something to do with the fact that our other college is so good. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what we could do to stop that from happening. Um, but uh, you know what I realized is I thought we had the basketball stadium in this um, uh, in this university, and I don't think we actually placed the basketball stadium. This is our hockey rink. Uh, yeah, maybe we can get the basketball stadium in here as well. Uh, the basketball stadium is right here. Yeah, we have the aquatic center over in the college. We don't have track and field, but that's fine. Maybe if we need to, we can, we can fit track and field out here somewhere or something like that. But the basketball arena is a really cool building, and we don't have it in. So maybe we could throw that over here or something like that, add in some more parking. And then it would kind of add to uh, this area as the stadium area. And then we can, yeah, you know what? Maybe that's what we're gonna do next episode. So um, anyways, I hope you like this episode. Uh, let me know if you like those kind of like half, uh, these builds where we kind of half make interchanges uh, in like fast pace and then we change things up and uh, do a tri more traditional episode. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, let me know if uh, you want me to add that basketball stadium in. Um, anyways, uh, have a good one and peace out.